Hi guys, it's Alyssa. This is Back to Basics Part 3. We've talked about rights and we've talked about laws, and now we're going to continue on in the Declaration of Independence to where it says, and to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. I'm going to say that part again. Deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. So we're just going to break that down. Deriving. That means politicians aren't born with superpowers that make them great leaders. They aren't born to rule. They must derive that power from somewhere. Just powers, powers that are justified, committed to them in trust, a help meet to the natural rights of each person. So deriving their just powers from where? From the consent of the governed. Consent of the governed. These powers can only be transferred to government via the agreement of the people they serve. So my question is, do you consent? Do you consent to masks for your children in schools? Do you consent to permits being pulled at your local business? Do you consent to public health citing citizens and businesses for non-compliance? And if you don't, I'd like to encourage you to come to our next evening Board of Supervisors meeting on August the 11th at 6 p.m. after work. You can make it. Let them know what you consent to and what you don't. And where have you drawn the line? Something to think about between now and then. I'm also thinking that if you haven't made yourself heard, you haven't made a phone call, you haven't emailed, you haven't showed up, you're not directing your government. So my question then is, where do we think they're deriving their power from if it's not from us? Something to chew on. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Another promise, another scene, another